I went to an all-boys grade school and one of the toughest guys in my year level was named Huko. Out of hundreds of kids, this guy was considered to be top dog. These are the Hukos of the air cooling world. Noctua's NHD 15, Be Quiet's Dark Rock Pro 4. Massive coolers, massive performance. But today, a scrawny kid has beaten all of the tough guys. This is Deep Cool's AS500 Plus, and it's smaller and cheaper than the big boys, but it gives the same, if not better, performance. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. What's up, Internet? First things first, we sent us this review unit but had no say in what we had to say about it. The AS500 Plus has two 140mm fans. It's a single tower heatsink with five heat pipes. There is a subtle RGB strip on the top of the cooler for those of you who need your RGB bling bling. And it does come with a physical ARGB controller for systems that have motherboards that don't have ARGB headers. Aesthetically, I really like this thing. It looks professional. It looks like it means business. But there are nice design flourishes that, you know, give an element of fun to it. What I really like though are the fans. There's a subtle crisscross radial design around the fans, which are reminiscent of the treads that you would see on a car's tire. So nice little touches just to make sure that aesthetically the AS500 Plus does not look boring. More importantly though, this thing is slim. The problem with the big boy coolers is that once they're installed, you might have a problem with your RAM. A lot of the big boy coolers protrude over the RAM slot, so either the RAM will hit the fan or you'll have to shift the fan around to accommodate the height of the RAM. And even if you're able to install both the cooler and your RAM properly, if you spend for RGB RAM, they might all be covered by the sheer size of the big boy cooler. That's not a problem with the AS500 Plus, which is quite slim. We've installed it on an M80X Mobo, which is smaller than a regular sized ATX. And yet the cooler fits quite snugly. It doesn't overhang the RAM slots at all. The tower itself, not including the fans, is only 48 millimeters wide, so very slim. It's quite tall though, just about the same height as the big boy coolers. It stands at 164 millimeters. The Dark Rock Pro 4 is at 163mm and Noctua's NHD 15 is 165mm. So it's right up there in terms of height. You'll need to check if your case can fit such a tall cooler. Although our test bench is using an M80X case also from Deepcool, it's the MacCube 110. And we had no problem fitting the AS500 Plus in it. But again, best to double check your case that it can fit this cooler. In our testing, we used a Ryzen 3 3100, the same setup we used for our thermal paste video. We ran it at 100% fan speed on the stock cooler, at 100% load for 30 minutes. And to make it fun, we overclocked it from the base clock of 3.6 GHz to 4.2 GHz. After 30 minutes of that setup, the max temperature we hit was 74 degrees. We installed the AS500 Plus, ran the same setup, and the max temp we hit was 57 degrees. That's a 70 degree difference from the stock cooler. How does the AS500 Plus compare to the big boys? Unfortunately, we're out of stock of the NHD 15. However, Kit Guru does report that the AS500 Plus actually outperformed the NHD 15 by two degrees. We used the same setup for the Dark Rock Pro 4 and the max temp it reached was 66 degrees, which is nine degrees warmer than the AS500 Plus. Now we did run the test on separate days with the ambient temperature during the dark rock test a bit higher than when we ran the AS500 Plus test. So take it with a grain of salt but at the same time the general trend is clear that the AS500 Plus can compete or even give better performance than the big boys. 
So there you have it. This is very capable, cooler, cheaper than the big boys, and yet delivering the same performance. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Hang on this all day. Plus, you don't need to worry about whether it's compatible with your RAM. No joke, that RAM compatibility or just physically assessing whether the cooler will hit your RAM slots can be a big headache. And so it really simplifies your build when you know that you can get quality air cooling without having to worry about the RAM problem. To be honest, the big boys have been getting a bit old. They should graduate out of their grade level already. I think both the NHD 15 and the DRP4 have been around for at least two years. So it's nice to see innovation in the air cooling space, especially from a company that isn't as marquee level as Noctua or Be Quiet. The AS500 Plus proves that size isn't everything, that even if you're scrawny, you can still be tough. This guy is the new king of the hill. If you're interested in CPU cooler performance, we do have a video tackling six different kinds of thermal paste. We'll link that in the video box below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Internet, and special thanks to our top fans Christian Espinosa, John Ruben Ocha, ITX Addict, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, Leah Magnaye, and Dom H. Maraming maraming salamat po.